This old woman, she riding in the middle of the lane like she want me, like she trying to get hit by this truck. She wants some money. I'll go in the terminal, I check in, y'all. They're doing safety hope for random drug tests. So we got randomly drug tests, right? The bathroom. So y'all, I literally got forced to drink water for three hours. I'm sitting there getting drowned with water for three hours. Pass the second time, because if I don't pass the second time, it's gonna look bad, you feel me? So I was just like, bro, I don't drink or smoke, so I don't give a fuck if it look bad or not. What the fuck makes you think I'm about to fuck up? Like, yeah, don't give a fact. My driving record might be fucked up, but I ain't stupid, bro. You gotta buzz down soon as he signs. Rolex, baby. Rich hot, bitch hot, clock hot. Hit it to the mouth, full going shop. I see you, nigga. Real hood, baby, life was all fucking crazy. What's up, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Color Three Times, and I am back at y'all with another damn bang. But by that title on that thumbnail, y'all already know what we about to get up into, gang. Yeah. I literally just got done doing a load, y'all. I was gonna do this load for y'all, but it was just so much hectic stuff going on, bro. It was gonna make, it was just making me mad because I'm trying to hurry up and like get the content for y'all. But at the same time, we out on urgent. It was an urgent load with our urgent appointment time, which was at seven o'clock. We woke up at four. So let me tell y'all what happened, right? So I pulled up yesterday to the uh, to the terminal in Julia, Illinois. They, I went in and I checked in with the gate guard and he said I was on safety hold for some reason. I don't know what the fuck. I was like, you know, I'm major confused. So I'm like, okay, cool. I called my dispatcher. I said, they put me on safety hold. They was like, I don't know why because you're not on safety hold in our, in our system. So boom, right? I'll go in the terminal. I check in. Yeah, they're doing safety hold for random drug tests. So, and I, oh, so we got randomly drug tests, right? But given the fact that I did not know, they did not tell me what I was on safety hold for. So when I went in there, I had to use the bathroom badly. So I went in, I, uh, I went to the terminal, I checked in with safety, I used the bathroom. As soon as I get done using the bathroom, they tell me, oh, you about to do a drug test. Why didn't y'all tell me that before I used the bathroom? So yeah, I literally got forced to drink water for three hours. I'm sitting there getting drowned with water for three hours. I'm telling y'all, bro, I'm like, bro, because I peed the first time, it wasn't enough, so they said I have to pass the second time, because if I don't pass the second time, it's going to look bad, you feel me? So I was just like, bro, I don't drink or smoke, so I don't give a fuck if it look bad or not, you feel what I'm saying? I was like, bro, y'all y'all the reason for this, you feel what I'm saying? Because y'all caught me off guard with it. If y'all would have told me, everything would have been smooth, but no. So, boom. To remind y'all, I'm operating off of recaps still. So, given the fact that, uh, you know, I was operating off of recaps, we shut down early yesterday just so we could make the appointment time for today, which was 7 o'clock. But given the fact that safety held me up, I was in the terminal for three hours, bro. They forced me to drink water for three hours. I was held up in there for three hours, bro. I was sleeping so uncomfortable. I was so filled up with water. Y'all kept on waking up, running back and forth, in and out of the damn terminal because I had to piss, y'all. Like, I'm sitting there. Like, you feel me? Like, I'm sitting there getting drowned in fucking water. But any got dinging on way. We got us another load this morning, you feel me? After we just got done doing this one, you feel me? Because, look. They gave us this little thing and we wasn't gonna make that appointment time. Nah, shout it. You find out saying I got my ass here, you hear me? But uh Yeah, that's basically what we're doing today. So with this little right, we're doing a live load today. So which is we're going to Bar 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 Barabu, Wisconsin. And then we're gonna be doing a, this is a split load too. It's a live load and a split load. Because this the whole the original load for this is going to then Den, Den, Denton, Texas, you feel me? But I'm doing a split in, in East St. Louis, Illinois, you feel me? So, hey, we never know what's going on in regards to this, but the appointment time for this one is 12. By the time I put it in the GPS, it said I'm um, marked to get there by 1044, so we still gonna be a little bit early, but hopefully they could get us in, you know, around 11, you feel me? I'm gonna try to get us in around 11, you feel me, especially when we get there. But that's all we doing today. So I just got done doing the uh, the load here, and it's on to this one. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, it's been a long morning, bro. Like, oh my god, like so, bro. <laughs> it was it was it was just a lot of hectic stuff going on, y'all. Like, bro, what like randomly like, and then they held me up for a drug test. Not even telling me the fact that we're doing like I'm getting a random drug test. Like, cool. You feel what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, I just got done using the bathroom. I need some water or something. He looking at me like. Oh, no, like, okay, yeah. Like, nigga, I don't got nothing to lie for. You feel what I'm saying? Who the fuck about to walk up in this motherfucker comf uh, confident, thinking that they about to pass a drug test, knowing that they doing what the fuck they doing? No, nigga, I'm not stupid. You feel what I'm saying? I'm far from stupid. Because given the fact that it is, we're entering in a new quarter for this month, so we got to start doing e-learners for the quarter. And, you know, I guess they put in it, you know, for all drivers to get randomly drug tested to make sure everybody is cool and clean, bro. Look, bro, if y'all want to do the right thing by helping y'all CDL, bro, don't do dumb stuff. Don't, don't, y'all know what comes with it. Y'all know the things that you can't and cannot do, you feel me? So, 
What the fuck makes you think I'm about to fuck up? Like, yeah, don't give a fact. My driving record might be fucked up, but I ain't stupid, bro. <laughs> you feel me? But yeah, yeah, I'm telling y'all, bro, I'm sending, I, they drown me in damn water. I'm running back and forth in and out of the terminal. I'm sitting here pissing up a storm. I'm like, bro, y'all got me mad, bro. Cause bro, I was drinking so much water, I damn near almost felt nauseous. Like, I'm just like, bro. Like every every hour, every 10 minutes, I'm drinking water. You feel me? So I was like, okay. You feel me? So that's basically what we had to go through yesterday. Because low key, I was gonna start this video yesterday, but I just start decided to start it this morning after I did this load. Because I was gonna record this load, but it was urgent for it to get here and safety held that up. You feel me? Because if safety never did what they did, we, I would have, y'all would have seen that video. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all would have seen me coming here, but safety fucked it up. You feel me? Because they were doing dumb shit. Then on top of that, I had to end my 10 hour break. But with that being said, yeah, uh, right now I just got unloaded. So the only thing I got to do is just close it, slide my tandems back up, and then tell them that I still got this trailer and then head on there. So with that being said, y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on all post notification bells, and hey, let's get up on this road, okay? What's up with y'all? Right now we are at the damn shipper. We're currently getting live loaded. You feel me? I forgot to get the damn backing video. Now, right? Because don't forget, right? I forgot to uh, get the backing video because to remind y'all, our, our appointment time is at 12 o'clock. So I got here around 10. You feel me? I got here around 10. I came in. The lady on the forklift, she was looking at me and then she just drove off on the forklift. So I'm like, okay. Like I'm just looking confused at this point. So I had seen on the sign that says drivers. I'll be back at 12.30, so I said, okay. I came in here, I was waiting for like a little good 40 to an hour, you feel me? And then another truck driver come, which is the dude right here beside me. He he came in, he walked up, you know, he went inside, I followed right behind him, you feel what I'm saying? Because, you know, maybe somebody had come to him. As soon as he walked up in that motherfucker, she walked straight to him, you feel me? I'm like, damn, like, you feel me? So he, she, as soon as he seen him, he give her his, uh, his pickup number, she instantly put him in a dock. She see me, she instantly put me in the dock. I'm like, you seen me earlier though. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know what? It is what it is. As long as we get loaded, I don't give a fuck. And then on top of that, on my way here, yeah, the GPS took me through a way where the roads are closed. Like a little, it was like a little town, you feel me? So the road was closed. Like they doing construction on that motherfucker. So I'm like, bro, where the fuck am I supposed to go? So I turn right, like, it's like it says road closed. I said, bro, are you serious? So I hit the right. Almost got dang it on, almost didn't fit through there. So I'm like, okay, cool. Boom, I go straight, I think I'm about to hit a little left. I look left, they doing construction on this damn road too. So I'm like, oh, fuck. So I'm like, shit, bro, where the fuck am I gonna go? So I hit, I bust that little right, you hear me? And then I went up straight, I bust another left. Went straight, bust another left. Went straight, and then bust the right. And came my ass straight over here, you feel me? But I had forgot to goddamn it on get the backing video for y'all, you feel me? It really did not even dawn on me till I just literally put the trailer in the top. I was literally about to pull it out. Like, literally about to pull the trailer out of the dock. Pull it all the way up. And just to get the backing video for y'all. But by the time, as soon as I had docked it, they instantly turned it from green to red. So I was like, fuck it. You feel me? But this is what's going on right about now. You feel me? We out here dugging it. Same old, same old. Chill day. Y'all, I've been having a pee all day, bro. Like, bro. My mama even said it because I called her soon as... You feel what I'm saying? They get they, the random drug test. I had called her. She was like, boy, you're going to be pissing all day. I was like, and I have. You feel me? Like, I have. Drinking all that damn water. It made no damn sense. But, yeah, Wisconsin is actually, like, I like the views of, like, being in different states and shit. I like peeping the views of being over the road. Like, you see different shit. Like, if I had my other lens, I could be able to zoom in on that shit over there. Because that shit is pretty. You feel me? But... We going through massive weather changes because it was drizzling a little bit. This morning when I had woke up to remind y'all, we was on an urgent load for that last load. But this one, this one is going to Dayton, Dayton, Texas. But I'm not doing it for delivery. We only doing the, uh, you know, we only doing the split at the Illinois, uh, the East, I think East, St. Louis, Illinois, drop yard. You feel what I'm saying? I've never been there. i never been to a drop yard in, you know, Illinois. So it'll be a new one for us. But... We gotta get somewhere routed back towards Ohio, the Springsfield terminal, because I got my plates sent there. And in some reason, something told me not to have my plates sent to Atlanta. The uh, Lethal Springs terminal, something told me don't send it there. I said, send it somewhere in Ohio, like a little bit more out there, because I was like, I feel like I'm gonna be out here by the time my plate come. And look at that, I'm somewhere out here, you feel me? So I was like, just go ahead and send it to Ohio. So we went in, the, we gotta get routed back 
around Ohio just to go get our hut ticket and our plates. You feel me? Because we've been riding with no plates. And yeah, you feel me? But that's all. That's very much about it, child. Like, I'm getting loaded right now. It's very, it's been a chill day. I ain't gonna lie. It's been a very chill day. I've been cool. You feel me? I ain't had no road rage. I ain't have nothing. Well, I lied. I lied. People been doing stupid stuff today. You feel me? They been doing some stupid stuff today, bro. That make no sense, bro. Like, I just be like, bro. Gang, I don't get why people be putting themselves at risk when it comes to us driving these big ass trucks. Like somebody literally came, sped up to catch up to me, got in front of me just to slow down. I'm like, bro, what is wrong with you, bro? You could have just stayed in that lane, you feel me? Like, bro, I'm not trying to cause no motherfucking commotion or nothing, bro. Just leave. And then on my way here, right? Oh my God, right? Just to remind y'all, the roads are closed, right? So I was five miles away. This is when I was five miles away. As soon as I feel like I'm about to keep going straight, you know, just to go, come straight here. The roads closed, so we have to. They got a detour, like where we supposed to be going. So boom, we go, we go right. You feel because the road was closed in front of us, so we turn right, and then we go straight some more. Then we turn left because it was a stop sign. We turn left. So boom, to remind you, I'm in this big ass truck, and we going off of a back road, like mainly for cars. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm driving right. To remind you, this truck big as shit. This old woman, she riding in the middle of the lane, like she want me, like she trying to get hit by this truck. She wants some money. You feel? I'm like, oh no, nah, lady. That, that's that's not what's about to go on That's not what's gonna go on But trust me, I'm not the type to be scared You know, I'm not the type to hey, You feel me? Playing chicken? Never You feel what I'm saying? I always win that battle You feel me? Never I ain't never lose a chicken battle. You wanna go head up with me? Okay, let's do that. We can play chicken, you hear me? You feel me? But I'm in a truck, bro And on top of that, I got a CDL and, I hold, and that holds a lot of weight And you ain't about to fuck around and get me sent nowhere You feel me? So, hey you feel me? I'm like, bro, I hunked the horn, got out the way, uh, went over. I couldn't even get over, like, trucks get over. Like, y'all be thinking that we be swap, we be, we don't have no control over the trailer. No, y'all. When I be telling you, if we got it empty and the wind is blowing, that shit is going to move the trailer. You feel what I'm saying? That's fact. And then another way is that the trailer does not just go straight. You feel what I'm saying? It does not just move straight. We got to maintain, we always got to move. Our arms with this thing because we're controlling the trailer. We're not just moving and bobbing and weaving just to, you know, hit y'all. Where we see y'all, you feel what I'm saying? Half the time we see y'all, but we're not trying to hit y'all. You feel what I'm saying? We just trying to control the trailer. And half of the time when trailers be goddamn on getting all out of lane is because it's either we hit a bump on the interstate or the wind is blowing too fucking strong. But that's basically about it. A lady tried to get me today, but that's about it. But right now we just waiting to get. Load it and then we're doing a split. After we do this split, they don't tell us. But most of them, uh, for sure, they're giving us another load for sure. I just don't know where that load is gonna go to. So it is what it is. I'm not in no rush to get those plates. So we're chilling with it. But when they get done with this, I'll come back to y'all. See y'all in a minute. Got so currently, we just got done getting loaded. I just got the paperwork and everything, which is right here. You feel me? So we're about to pull up. Close them damn doors back there. And yeah, you feel me? Does this it? Oh, it ain't got no seal. If y'all hear that, I don't know what's been going on because my other truck don't do that, you feel me? But with this one, it runs out of air pressure every time I turn off the goddamn truck. But I think that that's just a little air pressure, you feel me? All that I gotta do is just build it right up, you feel me? Which is right there. Those are my two air gauges right there. That's my first one and my second one. So basically what I'm doing is filling, I'm just putting air back into the airbag. You feel what I'm saying? The air brakes, I'm just putting air back into the air brakes. And as of right now, I can feel, you know, the air brakes rising. They're getting, you know, strong. I can feel the truck rising a little bit. So, all right, got that. Now we're gonna pull up. You feel me? About to pull up, close the doors, then GG's, bro. That old man probably gonna be looking at me like, Yeah, nigga, you see this big ass camera, bro. I do this for real, you feel me? But uh, let's get this damn content for y'all. You feel what I'm saying? Content does not stop. My fucking gloves. But y'all already know what it is, and y'all already know what it's hitting for. You feel me? So, ah. Uh, we about to get down. Just 
Kroger. Damn. <laughs> oh, we ain't really getting loaded. It ain't even nothing. This little shit is going to fucking Texas? Only if we had our plate. If we had our plate, they probably let us take this shit. I ain't gonna lie. We ain't been down south. All right, and on to, to remind y'all, they haven't been even taking us out west. You feel what I'm saying? Well, we, the furthest we was, uh, ever went was, you feel me, was Indiana, was Illinois. But now we are in Wisconsin. Then we touch Illinois. So now, since we got to go back to Ohio, and I'm telling them what they're going to send us after that, but it's free game after that. And on top of that, this little, it doesn't have no seat. Look, this one, the, uh, this load don't have no seal on it because literally everything is right here. Like, everything is right here. Everything's right there, so I don't know. I, oh, shit! I guess it must not be that fucking important today, asses. Cause darn it, you feel me? But chill me. I'm gonna put y'all up right quick, you feel me? All right, y'all, I'm about to handle this damn paperwork right quick. We don't got no seal for it. Oh! They can lead us somewhere around. I hope we're not going back. You know, around that way. Cause, oh, bro. Did I drop a trailer? No. You feel me? That's what it's basically saying right now on the tablet. Let me see if y'all can see. Can y'all see it? I didn't have a tablet yet. Yeah. Y'all can't actually like see it, but y'all get my trailer. You feel me? I'm gonna turn it right here. So boom. Did you drop a trailer? No. What trailer do I have? Which is for the last alert 37, 87, 28. 37, 87, 28. What's the weight? Uh damn, this shit is only like no 19. 1980, okay. I mean, pieces, 288 gap, but that's what they put on here. No seal. When they be like seal and you ain't got no seal, just put no seal. Delivery time. I don't know how far I am, but I'm going to just go ahead and just put it at 17. 13 is 1. 14 is 2. 15 is 3. 16 is 4. So I'm going to say 4. Or just in case purposes, even though it might take us only like two, three hours to get to Illinois. And then boom. Navigate. Three hundred and sixty-nine miles. So we're supposed to be there around Damn, is that far? <laughs> I'm thinking it's about to be some little shit, but any goddamn way. Yeah, that's basically how I handle the paperwork and every fucking thing, but we about to get the fuck up on out of here as we supposed to be doing, so hey, I'll see y'all out on that road. Okay. Child, we finally made it to God dang it on St. East St. Louis, you feel what I'm saying? Now, I said I lied, because I said we haven't been here before, but I lied. We've been here plenty of fucking times, you feel what I'm saying? I just wasn't familiar with it, but any goddamn way, what we about to do is back it up here. We found, it's literally like five. 13, you feel what I'm saying? This, but they wanted me to have this trailer here by 8 because it's an urgent load. So I was like, hey, I got y'all. You feel what I'm saying? So I was already on halfway here anyway. So it ain't got to go away. What we're about to do is uh, drop this motherfucking trailer, submit the paperwork, and then see what load we got next. So with that being said, let's get this motherfucking back of it in. Gang. Alright, that's the motherfucking video right there, you feel me? And you got it, hold on. Alright, chat, that's gonna be the motherfucking video right there, you feel me? Right now, what I gotta do is put the uh, the bills and then goddamn it on bill seal, which is in the front of the trailer. Once I put it in here, because I'm dropping it, the other driver gonna uh, come and get it, and then he gonna get the other bills, and then he gonna do the final delivery, you feel what I'm saying? Because this is going to Dayton, Texas, but 
we're not doing it for delivery. But with that being said, this is the motherfucking video right here. We made it got down on St. Louis safely. You hear what I'm saying? You know, it was a long ride, but hey, we got our asses here. From Wisconsin to here, you hear me? But in the damn way, y'all make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on all post notification bells. And hey, I'll see y'all next movie. Okay.